Hey there friends, it is me, HL My Tech. And now that it's assembled, we need to get it running. So my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so when you power it on, you get the AlphaWise logo, and in just a moment, you've got your sweet touch screen. Now, before I would ever use it, I would first hit the application, and I would go to the manual movements, and I would test every direction. So I'm gonna hit X, make sure plus moves to the right, minus moves to the left, switch to Y, make sure forward or plus comes at you, minus goes to the back, and then test Z, minus goes down, plus goes up. If I hit the X, it cancels out. Let's test auto home. Make sure we plugged in everything correctly so that it actually moves where we're expecting it to move before we start using the device. So far, so good. All right, let's go to filament loading. And then this little box, we need to type the temperature that we want our filament to come in at. I'm gonna do 200 and tell it okay. And I'm already there, so I'm ready to roll. And then I'm gonna snip my filament Pump up the speed on this part as I try and get that little piece slid in the first part. And then once you get the filament feeding, I like to push it through by hand before I run the extruder because uh, I can feel when it hits the end stop. And then if you look underneath, you'll actually be seals. You'll actually be able to see a little bit of filament come out. Next up is bed leveling. If we back up, we can go to application. And right there's the leveling button. And it's going to go to all four corners. So right now it's auto homing. And then when you turn these, if you go this way, it lowers the bed. If you turn this way, if you turn this way, it raises the bed. So I'm going to hit next so it moves to the first spot. And let's see what kind of level we get. So it just tapped the bed. And then if we take a little piece of paper and slide it under there, you're just testing to see if you can get it through with just a tiny bit of friction. I'm going to turn it a couple more turns. Still not quite. A couple more. And a couple more. There it's going through, and I'm going to come back just a half turn to get the friction. I can feel that on the paper as much as anything else. Let's go next. And you repeat that process for all four corners. So I've sped this up again so we don't have to watch it all happen, but I'm just adjusting, testing, getting that right fit between them so that there's a little bit of friction. You can hear it almost as much as feel it. And then boom, once you've got them dialed in, then you can move on to getting ready for your first print. All right, so let's hit finish and let's go back and let's hit print. It comes with an SD card and on the SD card is a U50 folder that we can enter. And there are two files in here. Both of these are probably larger projects than I want to do for my first print. So I'm going to show you how to set up your first print. So I'm going to show you how to set up your first print using Kira instead. Kira is a wonderful tool that you can get from Ultimaker. It is free. And when you get it, you'll need to go to settings printer and you will need to add a printer. This is the default screen. We need to do non-network printers. And if you go down, you could do custom, but I'm going to cheat and I'm going to do the Alpha Wise U30, but I'm going to change it to be U50. And when I add it, it'll drop in. And then the only setting that I'm going to mess with is the bed size. And I'm going to do that by going printer and I'm going to manage printers. Then I can click on the Alpha Wise, do its machine settings, and it is 260 by 260 by 270 on the vertical. I'm going to leave the heated bed and all the other settings in place and just hit close and give it a go. For most of my prints, I like to use uh, 
0.31 settings. So I'm going to go to the custom choice and there is my 0.3 millimeter setup. I don't want walls 1.2, I want walls 0.8. A common rule of thumb is since I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, you need some multiple of that. So that's why you went from 0.8 to 1.2 because that'd be three times 0.4. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna change this to 10% infill. I like 200, I like 60, and a print speed of 40 is fine for starting out. If I get the printer really honed, I'll probably switch that to 60. I don't like brim, I like skirt. I like four lines of skirt and I like them 10 millimeters away because I can see just how level the bed is when I'm starting out and then make adjustments. If you can't see those settings, you can click the little gear beside it and then if you search skirt you can turn those on and turn those off and that's how you find any setting that you need while using Kira. I'm gonna grab the 3D print I want to use. You could download a cube from Thingiverse. I've got a special one that I call one cube and it is just a centimeter cube. I love this because as you see here I've only got to wait four minutes to see how well my printer is working. I've plugged in the little adapter and the micro SD card and boom, I'm gonna save that. And it's gonna be saved as AU31, so it's kept the name of the old one. And at this point, I can eject it. Let's take it back to the printer and see how this works. All right, so this is the little adapter and the micro SD card I had plugged into my computer. The SD card plugs in over on this side right here. It is words down when you push it in there, not words up. Alrighty friends, let's hit print and let's use that cute little cube. Tap it again to get it to start and tell it OK. Notice it tells us that it's already at 45 on the bed, already got 200 on the hot end, and we should be able to start moving in just a minute. As it's running, you do have a X to cancel it out, and you also have a pause button if you need as well. I'm not much for wasting your time, so here it is sped up and with a little background music. Alrighty friends, so as you can see that is a crisp little centimeter cube printed in about four minutes, which is awesome as you're getting it all tested. Uh, easy to run in Kira. I may tinker with the setup to see if I can make it even better, but at the moment using that U30 rig with the correct measurements seems like a sweet system. Alrighty friends, I hope you're enjoying your U50 as much as I'm enjoying mine. If you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.